What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. With this video we are jumping into DC Comics vs Vampires issue number 7. And there has been a lot going on from our regular issues to our one shot tie ins. One thing is for certain, Vampires won the battle. But the war is only beginning, with small pockets of resistance all over the place. What remains of humanity is doing everything it can to survive. Now, make sure that you guys have subscribed to the channel, you've liked this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 7, this vampire takeover, it happens so very quickly. The infection spreading from one hero to the other. Anyone that tried to stop them or got in their way, they faced death. But that still doesn't mean that our heroes didn't try putting up a fight. From Supergirl to Shazam to Black Canary, our heroes did everything they can to take down this vampire uprising. But it was already too late. Those who fought, they fell in battle. Those who ran had been hunted down. One of them being Superboy, ripped in half by Shazam and Wonder Woman. After the big battles had ended, Firestorm and the others, they burnt down all of the forests, all of the crops. The whole world was plunged into darkness, and this planet belonged to them. And now with Nightlight, one of humanity's last safe havens falling to the vampires, we have a convoy of humans, of refugees trying to make it to a new stronghold, not really sure where they are headed, believing that they might be chasing ghosts. We have Adam Strange, trying to get in communication with anybody in space, hoping maybe someone out there will hear them, will come to their aid. The problem is, every Green Lantern that has shown up on this planet has been slaughtered, so the idea of anybody coming here, it seems absolutely crazy. This is when we see Director Bones. Having some trouble ahead, everybody dismounts from the vehicles. Having cars in front of them on fire, we see Killer Frost put them all out. Having Peacemaker and Adam Strange go through the cars and see if anybody else is around here. They're also being one of my favorite individuals, Negative Man from Doom Patrol. As they sit here and try to push these cars off of the road, this is when they are met by Plastic Man. Coming up in the shape of a cobra, this thing has fangs but they don't know if it's a vampire. Not wanting to find out if he is one, everybody starts unloading on him. Out of left field, this is where we see Hawkgirl, who we know is a vampire. This is an ambush. Wonder Woman, Firestorm, all of these guys showing up on site completely surrounded. Heat waves showing up, going toe to toe with Killer Frost. Firestorm taking Killer Frost off the board immediately. Our survivors, they are doing everything they can just to stay alive. Having nowhere to fall back to. This is where we see Raven. Coming up and taking Heatwave on, she shuts him down immediately. Going next for Wonder Woman, that is, until she gets a sneak attack from behind. Plastic Man coming in and biting her on the neck. Director Bones not having any plan for this situation. Firestorm is about to toast all of them as they get picked off one by one. Firestorm does have one question for Director Bones. Where is the city? Where is the secret city that you have all been hiding in? This is when someone shows up behind Firestorm. And we see this individual take a spear and pierce the heart of Firestorm. This is when we see him go nuclear. A giant explosion. Cars, vehicles, people, vampires, everything being thrown in all kinds of directions. This is where we see Jaina, one of our Wonder Twins. Believing that there is nothing left alive, she sees Director Bones, or at least just his skull. Knowing that that blast won't keep the vampires down for long, she needs to get out of here because she doesn't want to stick around to face Wonder Woman. Bones letting her know to take the first car, that it is an armored vehicle. As the two of them hightail it out of here, we learn that our Wonder Twin, she has been wandering for quite some time, trying to help people anywhere she can. But the thing is, she doesn't see people very often anymore. 
and she does hint that she lost her brother as they pull up to the location that they need to be at. We see Killer Croc come out of the water asking for the password. She doesn't have one. She says that Director Bones had sent her to this location. But Director Bones, he didn't make the trip. This is where we see Adam saying that everybody had been killed in the ambush. Director Bones, he was supposed to have a protection spell on him that John Constantine put around him. Was supposed to protect him from a nuclear blast. And you could say that it, it kept him alive for a little bit. But with Firestorm going nuclear, this is much, much bigger than a nuclear blast. Running over to the vehicle and popping open the trunk. This is where we see Kara. We have our Supergirl. Of course, our Wonder Twin, she had no idea this Supergirl was in the back. That was the whole point of this mission of this convoy. They needed to get their most prized possession, their best weapon against these vampires. They needed to get her somewhere safe. The problem is, there is no sun. No sun, no Supergirl. But she is more than just a heavy hitter. She is a symbol of hope. This is when we see all of them, except for Killer Croc, transported to Kandor. The last Kryptonian city encapsulated inside of a bottle, buried in the mud under Hobbs River. Now, when they had brought all of their refugees here, they expected to find some natives. The problem is, Grayson's forces had already found the city before they did, and leaving the city completely empty. It was the perfect opportunity for them to find a new safe haven. As our Supergirl walks into the room of what is left of humanity's heroes, everyone from Batgirl to the Green Arrow, they are trying to devise a plan on how they are going to win this war. With Supergirl wanting to help in some kind of way, we see the discussion begin. And Oliver Queen, he knows of what is called human farms being run all over the place, mostly around Smallville thinking that these people need saving. This is where he thinks their efforts need to go to. But Batgirl, she believes that they save the most people by taking out the leadership, by taking down Dick Grayson. She wants to go directly to Gotham and take down Nightwing, the Vampire King. Now, Dr. Fate, he believes their priorities need to be focused on clearing the ash so they can have a little bit of sunlight and power up their most powerful weapon. And what they do know is that the vampires have been sending individuals into space. And so if they can get to that place, get to that location, they could send Supergirl into space and recharge her, have her clear the smoke from the skies. She could get them daylight back. And at this point, nobody can agree on what is the best course of action. Everyone wanting to do their own thing. Babs wanting to get into Gotham. The problem is there is no way to get into Gotham. Nobody has gotten in or out in months. Though that's not entirely true. John Constantine letting us know that Harley Quinn, she most recently did escape from this place. We saw that happen in DC vs. Vampires Killers. But if they're going to talk about being able to get in and out of Gotham, there is one person who knows, and that is Harley Quinn. The problem is, Harley Quinn is being experimented on. Being captured after getting out of Gotham, we see her tied up, chained up, being poked and prodded, swearing that once she gets out of here, all of them are going to pay. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now, if you caught the tie-in that is DC's versus Vampire's Killers, we saw that Harley Quinn, she has the blood in her veins now of Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor's blood was the key to saving humanity from these vampires. We saw Harley Quinn getting bit by Catwoman, and Catwoman, she died right there on the spot. We can only assume that these experiments she is being made to do, they can't be for a good cause. But if John Constantine and the others can get her, this could change the tides of the battle like nobody else could. Now this also raises the question, why would vampires need to go to space? That is where the sun is. What purpose could they truly be doing out there? Could it be an attempt to take out the sun entirely? So much going on here and there 
there's still so much that is unknown. But this issue truly was a lot of fun. Seeing one of our Wonder Twins, her brother, being taken out. This is what I love about Elseworld stories. It really is just no rules, no limitation, no one is free from being taken off the board. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you are trying to get caught up on this entire series, including the tie-ins, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with DC vs. Vampire. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. If you can't do that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you like this video, you hit that notification bell, and until the next breakdown.